Oh, did she? All right, I gotta remember. My seeds are on the other side, I think. Yeah, they were over here, weren't they? Yeah, there they are. Ooh, that's crashing. It's not really what I wanted to do. How close do I have to get? <laughs> I have to back it in there. Ah, it's gonna be funny. That's uh, not really awesome. But... Come on. Uh, what are you doing to me, evil thing? What are you stuck on? Oh, you're stuck on that. Ah, refill. R. Weird thing. Weirdness. Weirdness, I tell you. Weirdness. So I'm going to fill it all the way up because I figure... Well, I figure then I can do multiple sowings of crop. I did say barley last episode, I think, but I changed my mind to wheat because I realized that's what the chickens need. So, that's what we're going to do. And the cows and the sheep, they don't really give a flying yiff as long as they get their, uh, as long as they get their straw, so... There you go. My reasoning in a nutshell. All right. All right, now let's do... Okay. Uh, B, two. Yeah. Woo. We're off to the seating. Looks good. Excellent. I don't mind if I miss a little bit on the sides because I'm thinking about my combine as well. Well, there you go. Oops. No, that's actually fine. Stop. Off. Set. Oop. Set. Uh, turn, 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 turn. Okay, so my understanding is I line up on my ridge mark. Start the tractor, turn it on, and go. Yeah, so then I just drive up the ridge mark, and everything should be good. Let's go in the cab for a little bit. I just want to drive in this cab a little bit. Uh, Really, when it comes down to it, this is one of the better tractors. These John Deere's, along with the case that has the wither wheels and the new Holland with the wither wheels, these are one of the better tractors for interior look, interior finish. Just nice looking tractors. All right. And stop. Off. Okay, that guy's up. Now we have to get out because Lord knows I can't make a turn inside a tractor. Come on, turning tractor. Yeah, woo. All right, stop. All right, let's back up a little bit because I've done knackered that up. Okay. Uh, zebra B2 in the cab. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, this isn't going to be so bad. I could have gotten the bigger one, but the bigger one doesn't have a uh, ridge marker, so it does make it harder on me. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> All right. So this is, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good, I think. We're missing a few spots here and there, but I... I can't bring myself to care. Let's that fold it in. No. That's it. Zebra. That, that works. Whatever. All right. Roll her around. So. 
stop, turn on, hit two, and away we go again. All right. Look at the bouncing action of the they hit the uh, hitch there. That looks really nice. All right. Yeah, we're doing good. We almost got this field so so. We've almost finished turning this field from grass into wheat. And we have to think eventually, we're going to have to think about um, we are going to have to think about combines. Because I am going to fast forward time. I know someone was like, hey, the rule is you don't fast forward time. Ha <laughs> ha No. Uh, if you want to consider a fast forward time a year, then you, I guess you could, you know, a growing season, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to fast forward time because when it comes right down to it, watching your crops grow, not really high on my want to do list. I have enough trouble watching pot plants grow. It's like, hurry up, plant! Hurry up! Stop. P. Z. No. Z. I don't know why it does that sometimes. Probably because it does it automatically when I hit P and I'm hitting Z and it's causing all kinds of problems, but, you know. What do you want from me? Right on. And away we go. All right. So what do we got? Like a few more to go. <laughs> a few more rows to go. So what I'll do is I think I'm going to cut here until we finish the field. Because it shouldn't take me too long to finish the field. I'll come back. We're going to clean up the yard. And uh, yeah. Because you know that. See, it comes in and then that goes out. Okay, I can. Uh, whatever. Because um, you know, watching me handle bales is just. just so much fun for everybody. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We'll uh, cut it here and. Uh, we'll be back when I have this field sewn or nearly completed. So we'll be right back. All right, so. Uh, yeah, I'm here with this rig and this arrangement. Let me talk about what happened here. I started talking, thought I pressed F9, which is the key for Fraps to start recording. Apparently I didn't. Apparently I'm an idiot. Um, I've gotten four bales over here. Uh, I tried stacking them sideways on here. That didn't work. So I tried putting them this way. It sort of worked except for I have a Siamese bale here, which is annoying as heck. Um, I've given up turning off my tractor. My tractor is also crap when it goes to getting on and off the Goldhofer. I've decided that Giant must have been smoking some pretty amazing stuff when they made the uh, bale physics, because I hate it. Um, for my life have I seen bales that, that flop around on a bale fork. Quite as terribly bad as this. Um, I also hate the bale fork because it's longer than the... Seriously? See? Stuff like that annoys me. It's a bale! Oh my gosh! Can't go through it. That is partially the mod author's fault for not building the clip area, but you can't really do much of a clip area because of the way that Giant has their bale physics set up. It's really annoying. Um, Alright, we're gonna try to tackle these Siamese bales. Or I'm going to whack them, and they're going to cause all kinds of problems. Cause get off. Just get off. <gasps> don't fall off, tractor, tractor, tractor. Don't fall off. No, no. Okay, fall off, tractor. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Ugh. Um, yeah, these bales have been driving me absolutely crazy trying to get them. Because um, they just, they hop everywhere. Um, I had one last time that... Uh, got stuck on the tail of the Goldhofer and it literally caused the whole trailer to do the dang jitterbug. 
and it was doing nothing but jitterbugging all over the place. Actually, it wasn't jitterbugging all over the place. It was barely doing any jitterbug. It was moving a good bit, um, but we sorted ourselves out. Yeah, just get on like that because you're stupid, and if I turn really quick, you'll do a little, little hula hoop around my bail fork because that's how it works. this. I'll just nicely tip over and hula loop around my bail fork. Yay, look at you hula hooping. Let's do that. Yeah, I don't know a single uh, bail that does that. Slam on my brakes and they'll kind of pop off. All right. There. So you got one, two, three, four, five. I got six bales over here, seven on that row. I've got the Siamese twins over there. Ugh. I can't get them apart for nothing. I've rammed them with the truck. I've forked them. I've done everything I can and they just don't want to come apart. So what are you going to do? Nothing. See, you can't ram that far bail because it causes your tractor to jump. So I'm just going to do this. Oh, look at that. I actually made the Siamese bales come apart. I don't know how that happened. No joke. I was trying it for like 10 minutes to get those stupid bales to come apart. And now they're apart. Because they hate me. That's how it is. The bales hate me. Um, I've also decided that the Ford truck, not the Ford truck, the cane trailer, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't... I, I'm beginning to wonder what the use I, I might have with it. Because um, as we discovered in Kansas, no, don't do that, you stupid bale. Uh, as we discovered in Kansas, you can't actually attach wool pallets to it, so it's not useful for wool pallet transport. Um, yeah, so it's it's not all that useful of a, of a toy other than for transporting goods, uh, meaning tractors. So there you go. Um, I'm really sad I, I did that the F9 didn't take or I didn't hit it because there was a moment of like ninja super fly bale. It's just like, what the heck? I had to go find it in a bunch of weeds. It was crazy. But you know, those are the slings and arrows of recording using fraps. Ugh. Sometimes things just don't work out right. Stop it, you stupid bale. Just behave like a real bale for just a few minutes. And Tractor, quit acting stupid as well. You're annoying me as well. Okay, there. So, I originally, yeah, I was originally trying to load onto the side of the gold hoffer, and what I found there was, because of the length of my bale fork, stop it, Tractor, just get on the dang trailer, thank you. Because of the length of the bale fork, it was a really hard proposition because the bale fork is just long enough to go all the way through a bale and part way into the next bale, but not enough to actually do anything with that second bale. Please break. And what that means is you can't put the dang bale side by side very easily on the, the trailer here. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. So instead, I decided, well, we'll try loading stuff directly on the, just driving it on with the uh, tractor. That sort of doesn't work very well either, but we're going to try it again, because I'm going to, last time I tried to put something up where the, the fifth wheel attaches in, and it literally took off and flew off into space with my Kerbals. And uh, I'll pick up that last, I put up that cane trailer in a terrible spot. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try, if I approach this way, if it behaves any differently. Turn this guy around. That way I don't have to turn around with all the bales on there. There you go, four bales, four bales. Stop. Lower. I thought this was a really ingenious thing to do, but 
It hasn't been nearly as ingenious as I thought. Um, it has taught, uh, taught me, though, that the Goldhofer does accept bales, which is good. Scoop it up. All right. If I turn really, 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 really painfully slowly, maybe the bale won't run away and do the hula hoop on my bale fork. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna try to put this up on the fifth wheel. To stay there? No. Did you see it sliding? That's what it did last time. It slid for a little bit and then suddenly it took off into space. So I'm not even going to risk it. Just put it right there. There we go. I wish I could also stack these bales, but I don't trust them enough to stack them that they won't end up as Siamese bales again. Stupid Siamese bales. Oh, don't, don't roll on the fork like that. Ugh. Stupid thing. There we go. Approach carefully. We have to carefully approach the bale. Lower it down, and then we just push it along the ground here. Uh, not quite. Lower it a little bit more. Go forward now, sort of. Okay, drop. All right, we got two on. Uh, if I can get six on here, I'll be so happy because that will be all of the bales. And you are sideways. I hate you, bale. So you can only pick up bales one way. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not be Siamese. Fine, fine, fine. Go around here, I'll pick you up from your Siamese friend end. Which will either work oh my gosh. or not. Oh, look, it broke them apart. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. Right? Right. Just be happy that they came apart. That's what I gotta do. Just gotta be happy that they came apart. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna drop it right. Didn't really wanna do that with it. Do that. Okay, and then I wanna push it forward. Can I push it forward? I can't, but I can do that with it, which is kind of like shuffling it forward. Okay. All right, where's this last bale? There it is. I have a bad feeling about those bales. Um, all right, for forward, down, back up, flip. Got really good at flipping bales. I've also come to hate bales because they have no, not only is the physics bad, but they have no friction either. Like, why did that just slide all the way down my fork? Meh, because. That's why. Because. Let's go forward. Onward. Onward, bale. No, elf. Okay. That's what I want, right on the tip of the... I hate you, Bale. There-ish. Okay, let's call that in. Yep, M. K. K. M. M. K. K. M. Whatever. 
You want to explain why you're moving there, Bales? Now, are you flowing backwards? No, you're still flowing forward, so I basically have enough time. I can't pick up these last two bales. I have to run up to the, to the hay spot and get these bales in position, or they're going to take off off of the trailer. I'm sorry, but this hay bales are the most frustrating thing about farming simulator. They are among the worst coded objects in the entire game. Like, bar none, the hay bales are worse than anything else in this game. All right, down. I must hurry before the hay bales take off into space. And then there'll be space bales. <sighs> All right, let's get you off. Come on. No, come on, you stupid bale. Don't, don't you dare. No. Okay. Fine. Do that way. Come on. Look back over. Thank you. Get on my fork properly. I know it's funny to watch somebody do it, but I mean, quite honestly, seriously, if you're a coder at Giant, could you please, I don't know, go to a farm, watch hay bales? Jeez. Okay. Yeah, this last section turned into a rant about terrible coding and terrible engine, but whatever, right? Right. Uh, okay, got it. Now the the sliding around on the on the deck of the the trailer, you could say, oh, well, that's the trailer, or oh, that's these large hay bales. You know what? To some degree, you'd be right because they need help as well. But try uh, working with hay bales, regular in-game bales. They're just as bad, and it's just unbelievably frustrating. When I first did Hay, <clears throat> wasn't even on Let's Play. It was it was just playing the game for the very first time. And I was like, oh, I need, I can do Hay. All right, I, let me go ahead and and, uh, and and do a bunch of Hay because, you know, that's, that's cool. Well, I bought that. What are you doing? Why did you jump off my fork? What possessed you? What possessed you to decide that my fork was not the position to be in, despite the fact you were clearly on my fork. Quit doing the jitterbug. Um, right. Um, so I was on I was in Hagenstadt and I was doing trying to do hay. And I bought that blue, that stupid blue hay trailer and a front loader. And you put the, the square bale on and it would slide along the blue trailer. And then you put the next square bale on and it would slide along the blue trailer. And then I was like, well, let me stack bales because I'm running out of room and I need to stack some bales here. And that was a disaster. What? Why did you jump off the trailer? Stupid bale. Um, so I tried to stack bales. Well, that was a disaster because as you all are well aware, you stack bales and giant, well, they have no friction between them because they have no friction at all on the ground. So then I had bales everywhere. So the sliding on trailers is not restricted to the mods or the mod bales. It is just the poor, poor coating of the uh, bale engine, if you want to call it that, I guess. I guess you could call it that, a bale engine. All right. I got two more bales to pick up. And I think we're, we'll have to use the Goldhofer because honestly, I'm not going to drive them up here with this thing because it will just be infuriating. All right, raise those up. But we do have 12, 13, we'll have 15 bales, large bales for the cows, which is excellent. We have plenty of grass hanging out over there which is even better. 
And we've got the straw that will be on that on this field here after we finish harvesting all of the grain, which also gets us the grain we need for our chickens, which is good as well. We're gonna make a little bit of money when we sell the cane trailer. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. All right, let's forward to there. Right on the edge of the road. Well, okay, we're hanging over the road a little bit. Whatever. There. <sighs> All right. All right, you guys are not Siamese, right? No. Okay. Siamese bales. They're the worst. Tap the bale. Runaway bale. Yay, runaway bale. All right. All right, bale. Come on. Flip. Thank you. Drive gently up there. Put it down right there. And you won't move, Bale. Stay put. Uh, last Bale. Thank goodness. Think about any more, I'd go by the Heath Super Chase. This is really the reason for those all those auto-loading Bale things, because actually doing it by hand is just a nightmare in this game. Not do that. Okay, up, 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 up. Okay, set it down because I don't trust it not to be set down. Undo the forks. Do that with the forks. Okay. Get out. Ah. Uh. What's a little bit of gasoline between diesel, between friends, right? How many tons of diesel are we burning? Just sitting here idling this pork, pork Kenworth. Turn, turn, turn. Watch out, you crazy person. Go, yay! All right, let's go unload these two bales and we will be done. Except we're gotta put up that stuff that's still out. Uh, Cause I did promise I will put up all of my equipment. So that's what we will do. Right, go for a little bit more, I think. Go. Okay. This guy up. All right. Come on, bail number one. Bounce your way up my fork. Now flop your way around on the fork like a dead fish. Yeah, stop that. Okay. There. Uh, whatever. Close enough, it's in the barn. Okay. Up we go. Last fail. Uh, and this Ford is going to be up here because it's got the forks. I know it's bale fork, um, but I can use it to move the pallet. And I'm just going to use it to move pallets as well. So it'll be the tractor we use for uh, sheep. All right, there we go. So I'm going to park it right over here by the sheeps. And also I will get a bucket for it. Um, eventually, so I can do grass, which I know is not normal, but normal in game. But I can, I can fix that. Okay, let's close these up, and we will put away all of our toys, <laughs> uh, and finally call an end to our first attempt to get a field turned over to crop from grass. Now, 
Let's go put the Kenworth. Where are we going to... Oh, the Kenworth goes in this spot down here. Let's see if we can make this turn. Okay. Turn a little bit more. Uh, no. How could I get you out of here, but I can't get you back in? Oh, well, now you're sort of in here. And I'm wedged. I'm not. I'm cooler. I'm sort of wedged. All right. There. We made it. Brakes on. Turn that off. Get out. Okay. Ford truck will take that. Gotta get that. Ah. So, we have succeeded in turning a field from grass. Shut up, rooster over to uh, wheat and it will be grown up so that next episode we will have to go into town and buy a harvester for sure um, oh we'll also need a trailer to put our harvested goods in so we'll have to pick up that stuff in town next time and then I want you guys to tell me what you think about my, my plan of turning some of the grass field over into um, potato. Like just like a smidge of that field, just taking it, flipping it over to potato because that'll let us take care of the pigs. Um, but we still, we're still we still missing a lot of stuff necessary for pigs. It's, it'll get us started in that direction. Why didn't you hook up? There, now you're hooked up. All right, whatever. Uh, uh, when you get frustrated with something like bales, it's like everything annoys you now. All right, I'm going to actually put this in here with the fertilizer. Because to me, that makes sense. All right, we're going to put this guy. Uh, I guess we'll put him over here with the John Deere and the cat. So we have quite the uh, collection of farm utensils. Utensils. Farm vehicles. We've got Caterpillar. We got Massey. We got New Holland. <laughs> we got Ford. We got John Deere. Uh, it's just, It's just crazy around here. All right, so I'm going to take the cane trailer with me. Uh, I won't sell it off screen. I'll actually just keep it hooked up to the truck when I park up at the house. And we'll start next episode collecting the stuff we need at the uh, at the shop. Thinking about it, I might keep the cane trailer just for that, but we'll see. All right. So until next episode, spend the frustrated daretevers trying to uh, manage hay here in Farming Simulator 2013 here in Red Hill Farm. Until next time, bye.